We can feel so untouchable because we have mastered recovery. And some of us, because we know how to recover, we feel untouchable. So you go to the restaurant and you spend over your budget, but you know that the money is coming at the end of the month. It's all good. I'm going to make it up. You got, you got laid off. But you're so good at recovery, you know you're going to get a job on Job Street. Some of us are so good at recovery. For some of us, the pandemic was like a mosquito. We just, uh, it didn't touch us. Because we have plans and we, we have savings and we put it together. What is a downturn? What is low credit? Some of us don't know what it means to save because we got our recovery down packed. No, no, I'm not trying to say that when things happen in your life, you need to be sad and, and cry me a river. I, I'm not saying that. I, it's, it's good if you're able to recover after the bump. It's good when you're able to recover after the hit. But I believe that there are some things that should touch you. When something's happening in your life, you shouldn't just brush it off. When there's disagreements at home and you can't agree with your loved ones, don't just brush that off. When you can't pray consistently, don't just brush that off. When you're around people that don't have the same understanding as you, and you're always arguing, don't brush that off. I believe that there are some things that should touch us. There are some things that we should be concerned about. But I'm afraid, God's people, that we are so good at recovery, so good at making it up, that we, we don't address the issues we need to address and we pass them by because we know we're going to do it again. We know we're going to get it again. We know we're going to recover. Masters of recovery.